Welcome to PBIS Classroom Management Practice 2, Using a Classroom Teaching Matrix, Establishing Expectations, Rules, and Routines. Why should you post and teach a classroom matrix? Well, a dependable system of rules and procedures provides structure and helps your students engage with instructional tasks. Teaching rules and routines at the beginning of the year and enforcing them consistently will increase your students' academic achievement and engagement. Finally, clearly stating expectation and consistently supporting them will lend credibility to your authority in your classroom. What do we mean in PBIS by expectations? We mean your target behavior outcomes, most specifically your three Bs. You should always align your expectations in your matrix to your school-wide expectations. The common language reduces student confusion and provides a roadmap to what it means to fulfill the three Bs in your classroom. Let's talk about rules. When you create your classroom rules, Make sure that they are observable, measurable, positively stated, understandable, and always applicable. You should define your rules early in the year. Involve your students in creating your rules and explicitly tie your rules to the three Bs, your school-wide expectations. Make sure you prominently display your classroom rules deliberately teach your classroom rules, and consistently refer back to classroom rules. When you teach classroom rules, demonstrate examples and have your students practice. Discuss non-examples, but don't demonstrate them. Make sure that you monitor and give specific immediate praise when students follow rules, and always Share your rules with families and others who come in your classroom. Let's talk about routines. Classroom procedures are automated steps for group or individual tasks. You could set up procedures for asking for help, turning in work, participating in class, dealing with frustration. Routines are just procedures that have become habits. Let's think about the difference between expectations, rules, and routines. During circle time, your expectation might be be respectful. Your rule might be wait for others to finish talking before you speak. Your routine might be use its silent hand gestures to indicate me too, or wait until you have the talking stick to share. Research shows when you establish routines, you increase student engagement, reduce problem behavior, increase predictability, and enhance student learning. To establish classroom routines, identify problem areas and times, determine the outcome you want, and identify steps needed to complete the task. Your classroom procedures and routines should be aligned with your school-wide expectations, brief, positively stated, age-appropriate, and use understandable language or visuals. Once your routines are made, create and display posters in student-friendly language and enlist student participation in any or all of the steps before this as appropriate. And remember, you should be deliberately teaching and practicing your routines all through the year. You should use them throughout the day and you should be reinforcing them. This is just one example of how you could integrate routines into your teaching matrix. It is important to teach and demonstrate routines. Show the students exactly what it looks like. Have the students deliberately practice what the routine looks like and give pre-corrections. If there's a transition coming up, remind the students what you expect. Reinforce your routines with positive reinforcement. Give incentives for appropriate behavior and use active supervision. Scan and monitor for compliance with routines. In a typically developing brain, relatively little of the brain is devoted to survival and regulation, 
and much of the student's brain can be given over to learning. For a child in crisis, relatively larger part of their brain is devoted to survival, and they may have few resources to give you for learning. By using a classroom matrix, you're going to let those kids who are experiencing trauma what to expect and help them operate in a state of calm. All students, but students in trauma particularly, thrive when you establish expectations, when you show them that they can be capable and worthy, when you create predictable adult behaviors, when you help them differentiate purposeful rules from unpredictable ones, you establish a sense of security. Using a classroom matrix will also help you develop student relationships, which are key to student learning. You'll also be connecting with the Danielson framework, particularly Domain 2. Thanks for watching, Matrix Master.